Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin, and we're checking out the Acer C740 today. This is the uh, new version of my all-time favorite Chromebook, the Acer C720. And the reason why I've liked this line of Acers is that uh, they've put higher performing Celeron processors in them. It came at the cost of battery life in the prior version, but they were a lot faster and a lot more pleasurable to use, especially when you're doing a lot of heavy duty web kind of tasks that call for a little bit more horsepower. Uh, this will certainly deliver it. What's nice about this new one is that it has a Broadwell chip that is the fifth generation Intel processor. Uh, it's the Celeron 3205 dual core at one and a half gigahertz. It also has two gigs of RAM and 16 gigabytes of storage uh, for a price at this point from Newegg about $244. That's what I paid for it. Uh, so a really decent performer uh, and the battery life is better because these Broadwell chips do much better on battery life. So you're going to see uh, battery life in the eight to nine hour range and I can verify that having used it a little bit over the last day and a half or so. Uh, so I think you're going to be very pleased with the battery life certainly an improvement over the 720. Uh, it will not be as good as some of the slower Chromebooks out there, which run uh, much more efficient but slower processors. So you are going to take a little bit of a hit, but you will get, be able to get through a workday with it uh, without question. So it's pretty lightweight, about two pounds or so. Uh, they made it a little bit thicker than the prior version, which is funny. They actually talked about how they uh, made it thicker for better durability, which is not something you see in other parts of the computer industry where everybody's trying to make everything thinner. Uh, this one's getting thicker. Uh, they've also improved the hinges on it too, so it's a little bit, uh, little bit more stable as you're uh, using it. So it does feel like a pretty uh, high quality device that will put up with some abuse, not too much, but some abuse. Uh, it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, you have the usual kinds of ports you see on Chrome OS devices. You have HDMI out here, a USB port here, USB 3, a headphone microphone jack on this side. And I should note too that uh, this will easily connect up with an external display. So you can uh, kind of use this as a Chrome box. This does have the same processor that uh, most of the Chrome boxes we're going to see over the next couple of months uh, have as well. So you're going to get the same performance uh, out of a laptop that could also double as a, a desktop device if you uh, just plug in an external display and keyboard. Uh, you also have a USB 2.0 port here and a card reader. It is a, uh, it does stick out a little bit so you're not going to use this as augmented storage perhaps but uh, you can of course uh, stick those cards in there a couple things to note on the design here is just that the uh, the bottom grill here is um, where it's uh, pushing out its hot air from the processor when the fan comes on so you want to probably keep this area clear it'll be fine on a desk because the rubber feet will give it some clearance but I would avoid maybe using it on carpet or things where those vents are going to get blocked uh, the keyboard isn't bad the keys are a little bit smaller than they were before but they have better travel to them in other words they uh, push down a little bit further so it's a little bit nicer to type on even though the keys are smaller uh, the trackpad is great just like the old version was very responsive to uh, scrolling with two fingers as well as clicking and everything else so I was very uh, pleased with that uh, but where this really shines is the performance so let's take a look at a few examples of that now so right off the bat you will see the performance increase when you turn it on watch how fast this thing boots up uh, you barely have time to see the Chrome logo before uh, you make it to the head screen here. So it is a, a really zippy performer uh, because of that Broadwell chip on here, and that's been really fun to see. I'm going to show you this in a second, but I will do something just briefly like going over to the New York Times or something like that. As you can see, the pages really load up very, very quickly, a lot faster than they will on some of the lower-powered Chromebooks. Uh, you know, really fast page rendering. Things really seem to look very, very nice on here. And it also does very well on video sites like YouTube and Netflix. So I'm playing back something from my YouTube channel right now. I've got the stats for nerds up here. I have no drop frames. We're doing just fine uh, running a 1080p video uh, onto the screen. Now, this is a 1366 by 768 display, so it's kind of down converting it also as it's playing. Uh, the screen quality isn't the best. It's about on par with other 11-inch Chromebooks that we've looked at. Uh, so it does have okay viewing angles, but it's not an IPS display like you would see on more expensive devices. Uh, but it's good enough for uh, this at its price point. And one of the things that I like to do is compare Octane's benchmark scores, which is a Google test for measuring how well uh, it can process the things that it will come across on the web. And the Acer C740 came in at uh, 13,597, besting its predecessor by a decent amount. Uh, it's also significantly faster than even the new Intel Atom processors we're going to see. So those are better battery performers, uh, but they uh, will suffer in the performance standpoint. And as, as you can see, the new uh, Microsoft Surface 3 running Windows only came in at 8,069. Uh, the less expensive Chromebooks, like the higher Chromebook, uh, which is running the new Rock chip processor, uh, that one came in at 7,099, about half the performance there. It does get a little bit better battery.
battery life, but a significant performance hit. And then the HP Chromebook, which is running an NVIDIA K1 processor, uh, came in at 7,607. And one of the cool things about the web lately is that we're seeing a lot more things happen within JavaScript, which is uh, compatible across just about every platform. And this is an example of one of those cool things. This is Street Fighter II uh, running in MAME emulation uh, through the Internet Archive. And as you can see, the frame rate here is excellent. I can even maybe go uh, full screen with it so you can get a better feel for how it you know, functions as, after I just lost here, uh, how it functions as a uh, game playing device. This is you know, not all there just yet. I haven't been able to get my game controllers to work with it, as ex for example, but um, it is you know, really running at a decent frame rate. The sound is a little bit choppy, but I think it's more a function of the emulator they're running at the moment uh, than it is actually the hardware. So this is the kind of stuff that uh, Chromebooks are going to be able to start doing soon. And as we're seeing more of these Android apps starting to integrate themselves into the Chrome OS uh, store that they have available, I think we're going to see a lot more with uh, these kinds of devices moving forward to make them a lot more useful from the standpoint of running software and still uh, gaining all of the security of uh, the Chrome OS, which is a very uh, simple operating system, but is starting to see uh, some new things happen to it that make it more useful. So I'm really impressed with this. I think this will now uh, have to be the bar that all Chromebooks need to make their way to because this is uh, really performing nicely, uh, very uh, good battery life, and an overall uh, probably one of the best Chromebooks you'll get if you uh, can deal with uh, you know, an 11-inch display that doesn't look all that great. This is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching.